Hello guys, it's Retro Gaming now, and we're back with the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. So we defeated Mom's Heart for the first time in the last episode. And I think we're just going to do another run and try out a new character. So we did a Polyon last time, we've done Isaac. But we also unlocked Kane, Lazarus, and Eden all at once. So let's start with Kane. Let's try that out. Alright, so Kane has this item called the Luck Foot, which increases your luck. I suppose, like, certain. It makes certain good things more likely to happen. I can't remember exactly what those are. But I think it makes pills better and um, other things like that. But he only has two hearts, so you have to play it like that. Pisces, tears up, and knockback shot. So there's like, this game has several different, I guess, sort of themes in it, and one of those is the Zodiac, so there's all 12 Zodiac items in the game. Alright. It's nice to get some keys early on, so we don't have to worry about that later in the game. Alright, I don't start with any bombs though, so I can't get in there just yet. There's a soul heart in there. This room, I don't think I've talked about it, it's a sacrifice room, so if I want to, I can go over here and take damage, and I might get an item or something out of it. But with only two hearts total, that's not really worth it. That's a room I usually use only if I have an extra heart, so if I finish the level and there's an extra heart hidden somewhere that I haven't used, I'll pick it up. But All right, I'm going to use this bomb back over here on this. Alright, quite a few coins. In fact, I could probably check out the shop if I want, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll wait till the next one. Because the best shop items cost 15 coins. Alright, Duke of Flies. This is a pretty straightforward boss. He spawns flies. And having these knockback shots are really useful, because I can keep the flies out of the way. It does have these large red attack flies, which you don't see anywhere else in the game. Not that that's much of a problem. Alright. Jesus Juice. Damage and range up. Damage is always good to get more. As you may have noticed, the tier size adjusts based on how much damage you do. Let's see if we can get a free bomb if we blow this up. Oops. I don't even have any bombs. I forgot about that. Lots of keys. Oop. <coughs> Alright, let's keep on moving. Not much to say right now. Oop, got another heart. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I, you know, like I've. Oh, shoot, I just realized I forgot to pick up that soul heart in the previous floor. Um, but yeah, these. <clears throat> what I, one thing I want to try and do is see if I can not take damage on this floor, because I've, as I've mentioned, avoiding damage is actually really helpful, because you can get double rooms, but also you can unlock various things using it, achievements and stuff like that. And I believe there's a character, Samson, which you unlock by not taking damage, and so it would always be good to get more players to use, or characters to use. Um, what challenge room do we have here? Okay, the death challenge room, I think I mentioned last time. You can only get in it if you have a heart or less. Oh. <coughs> okay, so to get out of this room, I need to push the button, which means I need to be in a place where I'm not going to get hit. And I think the best place is going to be right up next to the door. So, get over here and fire and then shoot. Okay, I guess I didn't do that right. Oh well. 
butt bombs. Toxic blast plus five bombs. We'll take the five bombs. And let's go to the shop real quick. See if there is. Restock. Okay, this is a good item. Never ending stores. I think we might have gotten it last time, but it makes it so you always get more items. So if I bought a bomb, I'd get another one back. Flatworm. Okay, so this, like I mentioned, there's a bunch of worms, and the worms all change something about your tier. So this flat one makes them flatter and larger, which is always good, because the larger your tiers are, the easier it is to get hit. Or to get a hit. Alright, so you see that bomb? When I use it, it makes everything brown. Black tooth, it looks dead. There's another trinket. I don't know what this does, so I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> Not always the best thing to do in this game, but. Alright, here we can get another bomb out of there. Alrighty. Monstro. I don't know, Monstro might even be easier than Duke of Flies. Because the thing is, like, when he... Uh, I saw it, so when I... I saw a tooth fire out, and so I think that's what's going to do is make it so sometimes... Yeah. I fire teeth. Um, anyways, so... Monstro, like, the shots he fires out, they're high up. You can see there... You can see the shadows, they... <clears throat> they're not going to hit me if I'm right next to him. And so it's actually not super difficult to avoid. Torn photo, tears plus shot speed up. Well, since I got two hearts, like I was saying, I can go to this damage room. This one here is a different kind. You take damage from walking in. Uh, and Devil Beggar... Well, since I got that heart, might as well. Well, if I lose any more hearts, I'm going to die upon exiting, so I can't do that. A chest, help. <clears throat> All right. The tough ones in these monsters when you get brimstone spiders on the walls on both the X and Y axes. It's very difficult because they come. No matter where you are, they'll sort of like follow. They'll follow you, and so you can't. You can't just dodge one of them because if you move laterally, the other one's gonna follow. If that makes any sense, we'll show. We'll, I'm sure we'll get there eventually, and you'll see what I mean. Whoops. All right, get some more coins. It's gonna be good because we the item we got restock is used in stores. So we wouldn't want all that to go to waste. Try and squeeze by there, there we go. Remember, like I said, shoot. whenever there's a bunch of these, you want to keep them all on one side of you. And I was unable to do that. It's a lot of them now. This is the slightly more difficult variant because they can shoot out. Gosh. Okay, well that was not a good, not a good room at all. I lost two hearts, um, but I do have that other one there. So like these, when they're spurting blood, it's easy to take damage from them. I mean, it seems like it'd be easy to avoid them, but it's random. And like I said, whenever something's random, <clears throat> at least me, I think it's more difficult to try it. Puberty. Okay, well, it didn't do anything.
pretty straightforward room. Come on. <clears throat> One of the issues I have with this game is that to some extent, how well you do is determined by how lucky you are. That's not to say there's no skill involved, but having a good item or a good set of items can make your life a lot easier. Get out of here. I want to find that treasure room. <clears throat> yeah, so I played the original Binding of Isaac, and one of the things that this version added is these large rooms. Oh, I walked right into that one. Whereas, so the rooms were very sizes, like you can see this one's an L shape. It used to be that they were all just same square. Yeah, and the, and the original version was more like a flash game. It kind of was like hand-drawn. And it wasn't... I don't know, this looks kind of like sprites. You can see the pixels, but the original version wasn't like that at all. As a result, it ran really slowly. Sharp straw. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. It's an item that I can that uh, replenishes on its own, it looks like. So it's not room-based. I don't know what it does, though. We'll try it in a room where there's enemies. See if we can figure that out. Well, yeah, we just got the boss room left, so let's do that. Mega Maw. Alright, now this one, you just have to be careful of, of course, the fire. But really, you can just, if you just keep chipping away, ah, come on. Well, yeah, so much for that, but if you just keep chipping away, chipping away you'll get there eventually. Range, Range down. down. Stars. Okay, this takes me to the hidden room, I think. Flat penny. I don't know what this does. Let's find out. Head on down. <clears throat> and we'll use the stars as soon as we get here. It's a wig! Oh. The stars. Well, I suppose it takes me here. Hot bombs! Okay, so this makes it so bombs do fire damage. Sorry, so we got the moving turret. Come mm. on. There we go. Those fast moving spiders can be tough if you have slow speed. So like I was saying earlier, some things like speed and range, you just need to get a certain amount, and once you have a past a certain threshold, like losing it and gaining it, like gaining it doesn't help you a whole lot. I suppose losing it's bad, but if you're if you're at a certain level, it's all you need. But damage, you'll always take more damage and you know hearts and health. So it's and tiered even like some frankly just some stats are more useful than others. Alright, let's see if we can take out as many of these as we can before they get here. One other thing that changed between the versions is the music. And I don't know, maybe, I think it's just personal preference, but I actually enjoyed the music of the original a lot more than this version. It's not to say this music's bad, it's just, it's not, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit vanilla. I, I just, I don't know, the first version just, 
something about stuck with me is like very dark sounding music. Like this is all right, you know, but it's not. This is different. All right, I messed that up. Oop, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna need a health pickup pretty soon, or things are gonna shoot get difficult. Yeah, for these sometimes you just gotta stand in there and hope you can kill them before they get there because if you move out of the way, you're gonna get hit by the shots. Ah, soul heart. Yes, that's exactly what I needed. So with nine keys, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. And there's nothing really useful. Except for this, I'll take a heart. Oh, I almost took that. So the thing about soul heart is it adds on to the end of your heart container, so if you take damage, you lose the soul heart. So you really only want to use it at the end, or when you get a second one, because like I said, getting two soul hearts in one floor combined. I think I figured out what flat penny does. I think it means that if I pick up a penny, it'll spawn other things like a key. So here we've got a vault. We've got some chests, and I wasted that, but that heart. I don't know, I'm feeling a little risky. Let's take some pills. Health up. And puberty. So we already had that, so that was a pill that really helped us out. The nice thing about pills is also they're the exact same throughout the game. So that pill was black and yellow. So if we find another black and yellow pill, it's also going to be health up. Thankfully, we don't have to remember that because the game tells us. It says on the pill, like you can see the puberty pill that I got earlier, which is a neutral effect, doesn't do anything. It knows, and it, you know, it tells us, so I don't have to remember what all the pills do. And so at least there's that's some advantage to taking pills, is you slowly learn more about what pills there are. These guys can be tough. You just gotta, yeah, they're very, they're intelligent. Like I said, they turn, they turn and fire very quickly. So they're looking for you always. But now they got that extra health, I'm a little bit better off. Larry Jr., this was a boss I think we faced him earlier. Completely random, doesn't care about you. He does spawn poops, so you can farm him if you really wanted to for items. But, I don't know, there's no real reason to right now. Envy, alright. Another one of the deadly sins. And he multiplies, so he's gonna split out. Having knockback's pretty helpful. And I think it's going to make this fight pretty easy, yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of keys because of that flat P. Alright, we've got one more floor, one more room, and then we'll go to the boss fight. Still don't completely know what this does. One time I used it a uh, heart spawn. Pick up a tarot card if we want, if we want to use a bomb. I might do that. One thing about these boss challenge rooms, or these difficult challenge rooms, is bosses spawn more often. So you can see hot bomb makes fire. The sun, huh, just like that, we got the best item. <clears throat> yeah, we got that last round. And yeah, we ended up not using it, but uh, it's always good to have in your back pocket in case things go south. Rag Mega. Alright. I think what worked last time is to just just keep going after him. And when the... I might as well use my bombs here. Yeah, so when, when the purple things start coming, just avoid them and keep on firing. Just keep firing. Yeah. Doing pretty well. Except for that, but... There we go. That was a lot better than the last last couple of times. The first time it just took forever. But I think that's what it is, is just keep keep doing damage to him. 
man. There we go. Blue cap, HP, tears up, shot speed down. A great item, because I needed that HP. And we've also got that soul heart. Yeah, I've, been, I've done, done it a couple times, I haven't really mentioned it, but if you press tab and hold, you can see a more detailed map. And if you quick tab it, you can actually even have it there. But I think it gets in the way. And really, you don't... I don't think it's super necessary. But I think we should try and get a secret room. I think it's going to be right here. It might be. Yep. Uh, I don't really need this. Whoops. Let me blow it up. <laughs> Look at all these keys. It's, uh, yeah, it certainly is nice to not have to worry about keys. Because keys, if you don't have enough of them, you can completely miss treasure rooms. But we're doing alright since we got all that health. Blech. That was a razor blade. Dank depths. So these guys, these guys are a little different because they'll fire off three shots in rapid succession right in a row, and they always do three, and so you can know that and dodge accordingly. All right, these cramped rooms can be a little difficult sometimes. So I'm trying to get one of them out. Oh, so much for that. Well, all right, we've got some soul hearts out of there. All right, the brimstones. Maybe be very careful. Stay well out of the way. Ah, I still hit it. That's the thing. You, you can't touch it until it's completely gone. That's a classic mistake. I'm making many mistakes, of course, but... These red guys can take damage while their hat is down. That might be a glitch, but... I don't know why that is. Alright. So we can find a shop. Buy some things. These guys' heads are going to come out at me if they get close. So you want to stay away. We do a lot of tears. Good fire rate. Curse Skull does something with teleportation. And can be pretty dangerous to use. Can't remember exactly what it is, but there's certain things it does. These ghosts have high health and they teleport. So you can get caught off guard and have them teleport right in front of you or even on you, I think. Joker, that'll take us to the devil room. Do we want to do it? And with five hearts, let's just see what there is. Wow. Um, I don't know what this item is, but for two hearts, that's pretty risky. Come and try it though, let's do it. Lord of the Pit Demon Wings. So I just fly, is that it? I wasted two hearts for that. Yeah, well, at least I figured out what it was. <clears throat> well, so flight, we haven't seen it, haven't been flying yet, but the advantage is you can go over rocks and stuff, and so you can avoid damage if you like from fire shots if you're behind a rock. Um, and also, things like blood on the ground and... Uh, oh no. Uh, and spikes don't do damage to you. So I gotta be careful here. Because I have half a heart left. Little monstro. Ain't he cute? 
<laughs> he just fires. That's actually really funny. But it's a familiar, so he, like I said, familiars are little guys that follow you around. Alright. Greed. Can't take damage, gotta be careful. Oh, there he is. He spawned the monster too, oh, and that's it. Alright, well, alright, that game didn't do so well. I think my big mistake was trying to... Trying to get that demon wings thing. Well, at least I figured out what it is, and no, it's definitely not worth two hearts. Um, yeah, sorry we didn't finish the game, but, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, it's Retro Gaming Now, playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, and I'll see you the next time. Thank you. Um...